Hey everyone, today I want to demo the Yith WooCommerce wishlist extension uh, which adds a add to wishlist button on the product detail page of your WooCommerce powered site. Uh, it's a free extension and as you can see it's quite popular with over 35,000 downloads at the time right now and that number is going up each day. So if we go out to our demo site, World Cup Tees, uh, this is where I'll show you how it works. Um, if I log into the WordPress admin, you can see I've already installed the plugin uh, and after you install uh, this plugin, you go to WooCommerce settings and you'll see a wish list tab show up up here. And this is where you control the settings for the plugin. First, I want to show you what it looks like out on the site. So, after activating the plugin um, <clears throat> and just configuring the general settings, if you go out to the website, let's just go to the product detail for this one. If I scroll down, you'll see the add to, my, uh, add to wish list anchor text right here, right under the Add to cart button. Add to cart button will show up if I go like that. So there's add to cart. Uh, and then if you browse your wish list. So this plugin automatically creates the wish list page for you. One thing you do need to check after uh, configuring the initial settings is go to the uh, pages tab, which I have open right here, and just scroll down to wish list page and make sure that's set to wish list. Okay? So just double check that. All right, but as far as setup goes, the plugin automatically creates the wish list page for you. So you can see here now I'm on the wish list page. All right, so if I go, let's add something else to the wish list. And again, here you can see the add to wish list anchor text, and it's as simple as doing that. <clears throat> and again, we chose to use cookies so that our, my wish list will be if I'm not. If I'm not logged in, I don't have an account on this site, it'll still remember my wish list for up to 30 days. Um, let's say you wanted to change the wish list from anchor text to an actual button. Well, you can do that very easily right here under styles. Uh, right here it says use buttons, just check that box and then it'll use a button instead of um, uh, anchor text. So let's go ahead and save the changes on that. This product, let's scroll down, there you can see it's now in button format, which I think looks a lot better. Um, and again, it's that simple. Add to wish list. It's now on my wish list. A couple other things to point out about the wish list page. Uh, they have the option to share their wish list uh, via social media right here. Just finish going through the general settings here. You'll see, um, let's see here. Uh, the, you have the option to remove the item if it's been added to the cart from the wish list so that it is removed from the wish list. You can turn that on or off. Um, you can change the add to wish list text, uh, the add to cart text, um, the option to show the unit price, add to cart button in the wish list. Uh, here's a custom CSS box if you wanted to stylize it. <clears throat> and then let's see here. And then here's the option to turn on or off the uh, social share, uh, social media buttons uh, on the wish list page. All right, so. It's as you can see, that's an easy plugin to use. It's literally a matter of installing it, uh, configuring the settings, which are easy to do as you see here. Double checking to make sure <clears throat> that on the pages tab, settings pages, that the wish list uh, is selected for the wish list page. And from there, it's really just a matter of adjusting the settings to fit your specific site. So, thanks for taking time to watch this video. I'll see you in the next one.